he was loving on her the moment it was over and cuddling with her and um, didn't cry very long and went through all the things we had to do after the procedure was over and was just so helpful and explained everything really well for me uh, so that we could get it taken care of. And now she has jumped on the charts as far as weight and breastfeeding isn't painful anymore, which is huge. And she is not on a bottle anymore at all, just totally exclusively breastfeeding. And so it's made a huge pivotal difference, I think, in our experience. I'm Samantha and this is Willow. She is about to be six months old. When Willow was born, we had all the problems that you can have with breastfeeding. So thrush, we had um, mastitis, we tried a nipple shield, we tried all of the things. She was dropping weight, there was concern she wasn't gaining fast enough, and no one told me why. <laughs> you know, the doctors at the hospital didn't get any sort of um, indication of what was happening. The pediatrician was like, okay, well, formula and bottles. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> you know, this is supposed to be the natural thing to do. I'm supposed to be able to do this. And so I looked up our insurance. I checked um, here, gave them a call. They got me in the next day, which was huge and amazing because you, there's no time to waste when your baby is not getting the food that they need. We came in the next day and checked and Dr. Dave was like, yep, tongue and lip tie. So it really was this kind of gut instinct that I had that something wasn't right. We talked through all the steps of the procedure, you know, having the nurses come in, um, how they would position, position her on the table, um, that there was a laser. He showed me the equipment they were going to use. We talked through that it would just be um, a couple seconds uh, to get through the process. Dr. Dave didn't pressure us at all. I came in fully prepared to like this is what I knew it was in my soul and I was prepared to go ahead and do the procedure but he was like no pressure you can come back we can do it a different time if you want to think about it uh, he took his time we didn't kind of rush through you know this for me very emotional experience we talked about breastfeeding right after um, bringing up natural endorphins and really supporting her and helping as like natural pain management. And so as soon as we were done and he felt good that she was in a good place, um, they left the room and they left me to be able to feed her and to work on it and came back in, checked on me, made sure everything was okay. Even that like first time she fed after, it was better. <laughs> it didn't hurt as much. Um, the pain for me wasn't there. She was learning, relearning how to use her tongue and her mouth and all the things for feeding now that she had this freedom in her mouth she didn't have before. Checking whether your baby has a lip and tongue tie is such an easy thing to do to rule out a potential problem that, you know, take, even if no one else has brought it to your attention, take the opportunity to see someone like Dr. Dave, have it assessed. Uh, and see whether or not that's what's happening and if it can make a big difference in your experience. Um, he was so patient and welcoming and explained everything so well for us that, you know, I, I didn't go anywhere else, but I wouldn't go anywhere else if there was something else um, that kind of came up for us. Yes, good job. <laughs>